So today um, is what we do the last Monday of every month, and we call this our AUA Ask Us Anything. And basically we come to the table without really a plan because we want you guys to lead and help us answer your questions. And of help. course, this is health yes. and wellness questions. Um, so anything that comes to mind, anything that comes to the table, any of our products, anything going on, obviously it's very, very, very specific to yourself. Make sure you email me, lisa at so we can go into it a little bit deeper. Um, but yes, again, thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa, and this is Dr. Ryan. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do that now. That way you don't miss anything. So if you didn't do it, again, do that right now. Subscribe to the channel and leave us comments. Um, give us likes, thumbs up, anything that goes on. But today we need a lot of questions. So um, if you have questions, write them in now. Um, if not, it's also a great opportunity to learn from other people's questions. And some of these questions you might not have ever thought about. So you'll learn something. Um, some of these AUAs are longer, some are short. Again, you guys lead, you dictate. So um, let's get rolling. Let's do it. Um, there was a nice comment that came oh, out. Oh, where do you see? I don't know, I just thought, uh, I like it. Okay, yeah, this is just a nice little thing. I love hearing this stuff. So who, I don't know name, but thanks again for sharing Live Good health products. Before Live Good, I was taking about five synthetic medications. With Live Good and with the help of her physician, approved to get rid of three medications and working on getting rid of two more. So in a nutshell, she was on five medications, she or he, on five medications. And Where's your microphone? I was not on. No. All right. Well, she works on that. So the med side, the med side is an interesting one, though, because. Um, can you hear me? Well, you could probably, yeah, she could probably, you could probably hear okay. from mine. but no, you could probably hear me a lot better. But it was very exciting to read. So was on five meds, reduced already three and working on more all right That's the you got, if you guys are having any trouble hearing one of us can you please comment because <laughs> i don't think lisa still she didn't think she turned on her uh, really? mic it's fine you don't have to <laughs> take your top off to <laughs> do it all right so but meds is an interesting one right we're not trying to suggest that anybody ever just cold turkeys or stops medications right but there's always a goal of course because meds are sick care right they're treating the symptoms of, uh, of a disease process. So ultimately, we want to help people understand things from a root cause. And if it's possible, with the help of your the guidance of your physician, sure, let's do it. Let's, let's get you off those meds. Um, and before you start fi firing through this, like I'm going to give you an example of how bad the medical system is in the States. Like, is it good? It's good and bad, obviously. I mean, I, I recognize it's good in very catastrophic situations. But my mom broke her hip, goes into the hospital. A lot of... Um, when you're in a hospital, you're in a hospital. But when you get out of the hospital, you're on your own. And I noticed that very firsthand today as far as like even just helping her coordinate some uh, an anticoagulant, a pain pain med, and, and it just was a, a disaster. The, the treating physician in the, in the hospital didn't have anything uh, in his private practice on record for her. Nobody knew anything. Um, it's a very disjointed system, and it's very scary for our elderly and you know people that are just – you know, not really well equipped to handle the, the stress of right after, especially after being going through a traumatic surgery and, and such. So sure. very difficult times, guys. It's just another one of those reminders where we want to minimize the, op, the, the possibility of ever having to really be trapped in that medical system. It's a very overwhelming place to be. Uh, it, it can be very expensive, of course. The copay on Eloquist today was $350. It was absurd. So, you know, you can just imagine like if, trying to handle that stuff on your own. So the more you effort, more time and that energy you put into your proactive management of your own health care, taking control of your own health care now will absolutely pay you so much dividend later in life. Um, that's for sure. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I mean, obviously what went on with my mother-in-law was something, you know, not preventable. She right. needed the, the help and the care and she needs, she yeah. fell. And needs the, um, she fell playing pickleball. So, you know, she's super active and thankfully not on any medications, but um, yeah, didn't need to go through this process. So, all right, let's chip away at the CBD question overseas. That's been coming in a lot lately. Um, trying to order CBD doesn't ship to Canada. Yeah, and we're still working on this actually, but I know, go ahead, do you know more? You know, about it, it has, I mean, you know, I don't know all the details, um, but it has to do with our shipping carriers and customs. So, our shipping carriers will not ship CBD internationally due to custom regulations and restrictions. So I know at the beginning when we launched, we, we were doing this and it was constantly so much getting sent back, you know, getting rejected. So the shipping carriers um, have a policy. They do not ship CBD internationally. 
Um, I, you know, I hope this changes, um, but I know that's, that's yeah, going on Yeah, we're always right working on that. It's actually part of our almost weekly re meeting review on, on international policy for stuff like this. Trust me, I feel the pain for you. Absolutely. Okay, let's go down here to Kelly. Hi, Kelly. I love this question, and I'm going to answer this in a couple of different ways. But the benefit of the USDA organic, so number one, it's... It's an improved amino acid composition. So you're going to see better amino acid composition on this USDA certified organic, which was not the case prior to. That was not, this is new development. The, the way that organic pea protein is being developed now is, is, is better. It's better. It's gotten a lot better. Um, it, so, it, and it has a higher dry weight basis, which means like, you know, 84% or 85% of, of, it, of, of it is the protein weight. So uh, that's a very strong number. I think whey protein is somewhere around high 80s or low 90s. Um, but as far as your question about fermented versus, and food sensitivity, Lisa, we, like food sensitivities are common. We, we've trialed this product. It, it's very well tolerated. It's very, very... Um, the fermentation process was great, and I love it. I'm not, I'm not su suggesting that it wasn't good, but the way that this organic... P protein now is um, is developed is is in a, superior. It's, it is superior. It, it's a step up. So my my I encourage you, Kelly, to at least give it a try and please email us individually and let us know how you do with it. Yeah. Um, I suspect you'll do just fine. Yeah. I'm plagued by food sensitivities. I, again, I say I have a princess gut. Um, this it works just fine. I mean, it princess feels, gut. So you said. <laughs> Diane, hi. Uh, do you have any uh, idea when hydration product will have different flavors? That's definitely something that's on our radar. So timeline-wise, mm -hmm. I don't know that it would be this year. There's just so many things in the pipeline right now. Uh, even just a new flavor is a new development. I mean, yes, it's less on the design side. It's a little bit easier to get to the, the through the design process, but recognize it, it still needs to go on the line. So. Right. And I actually had this question today um, in my email, just wondering, or actually maybe it was on social media, but wondering how we can make the hydration amplifier taste a little better. So we think it tastes great. A lot of people think it tastes great, but sometimes it might be a little overbearing, but you have to understand there's sodium in it. So to to cover, to balance the sodium yeah, flavor, so you've got like the sweet lemon flavor, okay? So it's not gonna be like, I mean, you're, you're always gonna have the sodium there. So it's always gonna be a little, you know, a little tricky. Um, before we had this product, the product that I was using was an unflavored one. So it just tasted like I was drinking salt water. Most people think that's disgusting. So when Ryan and I wanted to bring just the unflavored one out, you know, it was like, well, we're, what we did, what we like we tried that. is not, oh, the, we wanted that. Is yeah. not the majority. Yeah. yeah. So honestly, though, what I do personally, I have this big jug and I go through a couple of two, two of these basically a day. But my first one um, of the whole day, I have the hydration amplifier, amplifier diluted in the whole thing. So it is just a faint little lemon flavor. I mean, it's, it's great. So it doesn't have to be in six to eight ounces of water. You can dilute it as, as you yes, choose. Yes, dilute to your flavor preference. And Ryan also loves mixing his with the essential aminos, the lemon lime essential aminos. You would so think those, that's too much, but it's not. He loves the combo. Yeah, yeah. I think it's so good. So give it a shot. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, mm -hmm. um, well, while, while you're waiting, yeah. there's just two others that um, have been coming in. One is with lean. So Many people have had such wonderful results with lean, and then there's also some people that feel like they haven't noticed a change, okay? Uh, it does say take 30 minutes prior to your meals, but you also have to understand that everybody's, you know, GI system is different, and some of us, actually quite a bit of us, have a more sluggish system, so it takes a little bit more time, and the goal is you want to take this um, in time to get it into your gut so the uh, glucomannan in it expands, helping you feel full so you're not eating as much. So play around with it. You might be someone that needs to take this 90 minutes before eating. You know, but again, each body is, is different. So like when you say the 30 minutes, you have to understand that we're all very different. Our systems work very differently. So if you haven't really noticed much of a change, try taking it nine, 60 to 90 minutes before eating and see how you do there. Right? Awesome. Let's okay. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see here. I uh, hey, what's up, Mr. Jeff Yon? What is a good sub, What is uh, good to improve eye health? Well, you might get a kick out of this, but let's go back to the sleep cycle. Let's focus on sleep, um, and then when you get up, let's get that first light. Don't stare at the sun, but start establishing that sleep awake cycle. Um, and then eyes as we age, just accept the fact that there is a certain level of stiffness that is occurring. It's happening in our, our arteries as well, but we do need to be uh, as plastic as possible. So. Um, supplementation wise though things can help right you can do things like uh, zeaxanthine and lutein which two of both of those are in our multivitamin we purposely designed that multivitamin for vision support 
uh, because of the blue light exposure, so much more of it than we've ever seen before. So, I mean, sitting in an office, sitting anywhere, sitting at a desk on our computers or on our phones. Uh, and then, of course, if you want to start really dialing in the exposure to light so you can control the lighting in your house, there are ways to get better lighting in your home as well as blue light blockers later in the day, disconnecting from this uh, screen uh, at least a couple hours before bed. And, of course, monitoring your screen time is important, but that outdoor element is a big one. Some other things you can think of for um, vision support? No, I mean, I think that was great, but I was also going to say, too, like, you know, our multivitamins <laughs> are formulated for adults 18 plus. So <clears throat> I know there's probably not that many teenagers out there, 18 plus or younger kids, taking a regular multivitamin. Maybe some just went off to college and they're on their own, but think about how much screen time that they're having. A lot of screen time. It, you know, it's a, it's a very sad thing for our, our children. I hate seeing it, but unfortunately they have to. Like, even if you're, they're not staring at the screen for leisure. They're on the screens in school all the time. They're having to stare at a screen. So it's very important for yeah. our children Kids also now are, give, are giving computers now in school. For you, those of you that are not sure about they all have computers. That's what they get handed. They get handed a Google Chrome book or something like that. And, man, they take tests on computers now. They can't even flip pages. They can't make notes. They can't mark. It's crazy. Different it, world. It's a whole <laughs> different world, I mean, just from a few years ago. And it's super sad. The way these kids now, they're doing spell check on the computers. They're not even learning to spell. They're just, they're just like, I'm telling you, right. grammar, forget about it. Right. It's out the window. Um, All right. You're up. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I was just going to say, swing. we have our newest launch from last week, from Friday? Friday. We launched this Friday. Our probiotic gut support. Um, I'm, it's, it's, I'm holding it the wrong way. <laughs> Get it. Uh, um, it is so great. It really is. And um, after Labor Day, we will do a, d a deep dive into gut support on this. Um, but I do want to answer a question that's been coming in a few times, and it's about the blister packs. So these are in blister packs. And some of the questions have been, why the blister packs? Some have said, well, I put all my pills in like a little pill caddy. Can I pop these out and put them in? Um, they should stay in the blister pack, and Ryan is going to tell you why. Potency and stability, right? I mean, look, the, the two most dangerous things for any live culture, probiotic, or really any med that's an active ingredient for that, for that is humidity, relative humidity, and uh, temperature. So, yeah, I mean, that's why I always tell people, never store vitamins, drugs, anything. Um, I mean, there's so many examples that things can degrade with, obviously, everything really basically degrades, but... In the bathroom, we don't store things in the restroom, in the bathroom, because the shower and everything like that with the shower and the heat and humidity. So uh, that's exactly why we're doing it. I even suggest refrigeration. If you can, put everything in, put your, put your probiotics, put your drugs, put your supplements in the refrigerator. Why not? Um, but yeah, you don't have to store these at room temperature, but the reason for packaging and individually is exactly that. It's to ex prevent the exposure to the heat and humidity. So. But I am excited about this, guys. I want you to... To jump on this board, jump on board with this because there's so many benefits that are coming out on the gut health. I have dozens of studies now that I've been meeting, I'm compiling because I'm trying to get it into a way we can put it in your back office so there's more educational content there for you. Um, so many studies. I mean, per, I, I, I don't use the word prevention, but there's a lot of benefit in, in the, on the neurodegenerative side, so the Parkinson's side, uh, Alzheimer's. Um, there's all kinds of studies coming out supporting the benefits of of nurturing your microbiome and your in your gut microbiome. So right when you have an imbalance and a dysbiosis, yeah, and dysbiosis in your gut, yeah. I mean, guys, it, so many things stem from that. Right. A lot of times, you know, that's why the gut is the second brain. So you really need to go there and address issues. And it could be a, such an off the wall, you know, symptom or situation that's going on that you would never think it would trace back to the gut, but you'll be surprised. And um, I also had the question, like, do you have to take this every day? Once you take this, you take it for life. Your gut microbiome changes all the time. So to make it a, you know, a well diverse uh, microbiome with the beneficial bacteria, you do want to take this, um, you know, on a regular basis. So, um, yeah, but it's great. I, again, with my princess gut, I love it. So I'm very excited that we had this. And I really think that since we started with Live Good, this was like the number one recommended or yeah, requested sure. supplement, but it's hard. You know, it was very hard to make to make this. Um, we wanted something so different and unique and to obviously contain a lot of things and not just probiotics. Yeah. So I feel like we nailed it. And especially since we culture the probiotics yeah. so before our, our batch. It's for us. Yes. Which is awesome. Um, I saw right. a I question on go... there about lung health. Lungs, um, yeah. Obviously, I don't know what's going on, but you want to think about certain things. Like you need to, again, make sure you're not uh, deficient in micronutrients. That's your daily essentials pack. That includes your multivitamin, your vitamin D, your magnesium. 
Um, factor, I mean, yeah, factor four to decrease the inflammation. Some things that go on with lungs are an inflammatory process. Again, I don't know what's going on. And then, you know, the super reds helping to helping with that blood flow. So you got to kind of cover all those bases. Um, but again, this is more of like a general approach. I don't know. And then specific situation. And acetylcysteine NAC, NAC is good. It, I mean, again, not knowing anything what you're asking about, right. but for, for lung clearance of mucus, um, sulfur rich foods. So things that are um, cruciferous vegetables like Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, um, broccoli. Um, yeah, very good precursors for, with, for NAC as well as uh, glutathione. So the master antioxidant, which is beneficial. Um, you said there was an exercise question here I thought real mm -hmm. quick. Can I take hydration amplifier every day? Um, or only when I work out. He only works out twice a week. First of all, let's get that exercise bumped up t more than two times a week. It doesn't have to be a gym or running on a treadmill or anything crazy, but move your body every day of the week, at least six days a week. Right. And you have to understand that part of hydrating in general, like you, you don't say like, I'm not going to drink water because I didn't work out today. Right. We need, we, we need to drink water to hydrate. And part of hydrating is having balanced electrolytes. Um, so, I mean, even more so if somebody is excessively sweating, you know, you we've even want to make sure you're taking it, you know, one to two times a day. I mean, I'm a very big sweater at the gym and in the sauna and we live in South Florida and it's very hot and humid. So sometimes it's something that, we, you know, I, I will take two times a day, but, um, daily is perfect to make sure your body is getting the hydration and electrolytes it needs. Ginny, thank you for this comment. I agree. I mean, this is the way we like to start our week off too. We get real excited for this. And I uh, want to say welcome to the people that are just, that are tuning in late that did not catch this recording or did not catch this uh, broadcast live. So hello, everybody. Yes. Again, this is our um, last Monday of every month. We do a live AUA, which is ask us anything related to um, health care, products, sure, wellness. Anything. Yeah. And we can answer some business questions. Somebody asked earlier, I think Jerry said, can we answer business questions? Sure. Yeah. I mean, we try to, I mean, we, we try to keep it product focused. So, yeah. <laughs> pro product focused because, mm. you know, it's just really, that's, that's our lane, right? That's where we kind of, but from a business side, we're very engaged in it. I and mean, we all wear a lot of different hats and help out in many different ways. So. Right. Okay. What about over at um, Instagram? Mm, let's go here, finish down here. After that. And again, make sure you are writing in your questions if anything comes up. Sometimes it's a follow-up question on something that somebody else said. I can see a question here from Wayne asking, what's good for ED, erectile dysfunction? Sexual dysfunction is the big category. It's not just a man's problem. It's also a woman's problem. Um, historically, a lot of what's been done in that category has been vasodilation, you know, increasing the blood flow to that area. And, you know, the Super Reds has been an absolute home run on that. I mean, listen to any one of my videos when we talk about sexual dysfunction. I mean, it's a real issue for, for, for many, many, many folks out there. And, um, you know, we've heard great reports and great testimonials that have come in from it because it follows the same pathway, the dietary nitric oxide pathway, uh, as Viagra, so that blue pill. Um, you know, and it just, it, it's just, it's not difficult to see how the nitric oxide pathway works. It's well documented. So anything that any of these foods, so aronia berry, hawthorn, grapeseed extract, um, you know, beetroot, of course, we all know that beet is a big part of that. So the, the super reds are, are, are awesome for that. that. That's a great thing. Um, but of course, it's all lifestyle, guys. Why ED for me, like when I think about it, I'm like, that's the, that's the early sign of heart disease. And I'm not saying it is. I'm just telling you that's the way I view of it because it's a, it's a, vascular, tor it's a vascular issue. It, you're, you know, there's a difficulty with circulation. There potentially is there's plaque buildup. Potentially there's lack, you know, there's a lot of inflammatory markers going on, probably some obesity involved. It doesn't have to be, but it tends to be a metabolically dysfunctional person when right. ED is setting in. And therefore, like the early stages of the kind of heart disease and the concerning disease states are right right behind it usually. But that's not always the case. Sometimes sometimes that's not that's right. not true. We we talked about this too a little bit more in depth in one of our um, I don't remember exactly what week it was, but it had to do with a lot of metabolic health. Mm -hmm. And it was saying like it, it doesn't just happen overnight. It, it's it's mm -hmm. cumulative. It's, it, it builds. It's progressive and it might show itself in other ways. So it could show itself presenting as ED. Again, it doesn't have to be that case, but there's things that creep up that you're wondering, oh, let's treat that. Oh, let's treat that. Oh, let's treat that. 
but we're not really trying to figure out what the root cause, why is all this happening before it takes us to that end thing, right? Mm -hmm. Which we really don't want, what we want to avoid. So again, circling back, I always say it, it's about the um, making sure you're not deficient in micronutrients. It's making sure you're decreasing that unwanted inflammation. It's increasing blood flow. It's loading the body with antioxidants. I mean, mm -hmm. these are important for every yeah. single body to do, again, and also maintaining a lean muscle mass. I mean, in a nutshell, that's our ultimate wellness path. I mean, mm. it, True. I can't state it enough that every single one of you should be taking that every single day. It should be on a, it should be on our auto ship so you can get it, make sure you have it every single month. There is no reason to not, no reason to take a break. Prices are so affordable. I mean, I just don't, I never understand. Yeah, why people yeah but don't. Further, further on that, so too, it's lifestyle disease. So no smoking, of course, if you're smoking, quit that right away because mm -hmm. that's in, you know, your vascular, but um you know, foods you eat, the exercise you get, I mean, these are the things you need to be doing. Maintaining that lean muscle mass, so critically important. And go get, you know, get, you know see, see, a, see a physician for it, see a urologist. All right, cool. Where are we? Um, we have the, when is the vanilla shake back and our protein bar is still in the works? So vanilla should be this week? Yeah, it's this it week, this it's week. this week. Yeah, it's in transit, so we should be good and locked and loaded for Friday. Right, and so if you don't know, we have a vanilla protein powder. It's our vegan uh, protein powder. Plant, yep. Um, and it, we pulled it so we could make it into a 30-day supply or 30 servings. Yeah, it's 30 servings. Instead of 15, and we also um, have now the organic pea. So we just, we're out of it for a couple weeks, but it should be this week, and protein bars are not in the works, but they're on the radar. We are a family of protein bars because um, we're always on the go. And I know how hard it is to find a good, a healthy one, but then also one that tastes good too. So, yes. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. There is a question from Melody asking, is there any help for the adrenal glands with our supplements? There is. There are. There, the HPA, um, you know, there's the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. You know, there, there is a lot of, studies, a lot of science showing supporting that, that sort of that, that uh, trinity. Um, I go back to the ultimate wellness pack. I, honestly, I do. I mean, it's all about that lean muscle mass. I, there's no better regulatory of our endocrine glands, our hormonal system balancing than lean muscle mass. It's just a fact. Right. So getting rid of that ex excess adipose tissue, building up our lean muscle mass, that is going to be the most powerful thing you can do. And it's not just supplements that's going to get you there. I think you should have supplements on board, but listen to anything else, and it's lifestyle, lifestyle. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, Sean, I, I saw another question from you, too. I'll try to get the, back to that. But will you ever have the reds and greens in sticks, like the hydration amplifier? It has been talked about extensively. A lot of, a lot of discussions gone into it. It's honestly, man, it just got pushed to the side because the pipeline gets so full with new and innovative things that we're working on. So we hope to get there because I recognize the convenience factor and they are, they are more expensive though. I mean, that's the only downside. Right, more material. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll keep scrolling. Let me know I'm if you see anything. Peppermint any. oil is good to open airways. Yes. Oh, thanks for that. Yeah, <laughs> good point. Yeah. And helps keep you awake. So, yeah, we do have our essential oil pack. Um, and, again, we are looking into doing those as singles, so um, stay tuned. I think that is in the works. I think so, too. The time release for the new probiotic? Yeah, yeah, it's a delayed release capsule. Um, hey, Kelly. So the, the shell, it's, a veg, it's, a, it's still a vegetable capsule. Um, but the shell is a time release. It's a delayed release capsule. So it's not time. It, there's a difference between delayed release and time release. But yeah, the delayed release, it's really just designed to increase the utilization of the probiotics. Um, obviously, the gut, meaning the stomach, is an important focus. And then, of course, as that food breaks down, moves, and then goes into the small intestine where most of the nutrients are absorbed, that's your small intestine environment. So yeah, I mean, we're, what, what the study, and I have some studies on this. It's like a crazy number, but I, there's a lot of confounding factors that you really have to like kind of rule out, but 70%, an improvement of 70% of utilization, they call it absorption, but it's really be, you know, utilization of the probiotics. So um, fascinating stuff. I think it's an improvement. I, I, you know, it was one thing that I was like, okay, yeah. I mean, when it, 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 there's no harm, right? Nobody gets hurt on that. So it seems good. And it's been great. Like the stomach wise, ask Lisa to tell you all about it. it the, the people, it's, it's been really great. It's been a really great product. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Do you want to answer this essential oils question? It's a great question, and I really wish more people would adopt essential oils. I'm very surprised by how few essential oils we sell. And good news, guys, we are going to start selling them as singles. Um, that's coming soon. Yeah, I mean, um, so Diane, the, we are not you know certified essential oil therapists. Um, I know the uses for them just based on what I do from you know when I research online as well. You just want to make sure you're researching from a reliable source, and there are many certified oil therapists out there. There's also, you know, ones that do posts on um, social media. Um, we have um, a couple, uh, you know, essential oil therapists mm -hmm. that are our a video on our YouTube. We did right. one with, yeah. Um, Jane. Yeah, right? Jane. Yeah. Jane Mullen. Yes. Um, so if you can't find information, you know, reach out to me, email me, and I will uh, do my best to connect you with some of our affiliates that are essential oil therapists. Um, but again, there's a lot of information out there, but I know I always say that, avoid things online. Just make sure it's a reliable source. And just for your own information, essential oils are can be ingested only if you really know the proper dosing protocol and what you're doing. Um, these are pure essential oils. They're, all our testing results are on there. And uh, I get that question a lot, but I just I don't advise people to ingest it unless they know specifically what it is that they're doing. That's not, I don't, you know, I don't know how to recommend it, but it's all good. People do a lot with essential oils. Well, we have a decaf mushroom coffee. Probably not. Um, yeah, Linda, it's not it's talked about. Not, yeah. um, you know, we, we, we love the, the caffeine aspect of it, especially when it comes to uh, the weight loss. I mean, now is it possible it's on my radar for maybe like a mushroom matcha tea powder, you know, but... There's so many things in the works, and again, anything is possible, you know, with us, and we're just going to continue to add as we grow, but we also have to do this step-by-step, because step, each thing that we formulate and do and manufacture, it takes time um, to do all the testing, do everything right, so we will get there, that's for sure. Yeah, this is another good one. I haven't had much, uh, heard much about the patches lately. They're not as effective as we thought. So we don't hear much either, to be honest. They're not a top seller for us, but they, we also don't talk about them much. And so I think people should use the patches. You know, it's something that I've always talked about how, you know, you get, pat, you get the 30 pack of patches, but they're going to last you quite a long, long time because you're not going to use them every day. Right. Um, I mean, I know when I use the um, energy one, I mean, I, take it off after a couple hours because yeah. I feel so stimulated. I yeah. love it, but I always get nervous about, you know, not sleeping from it. But people love the sustained energy that, right. that it gives you. And I think the efficacy is spoken for already. People have reported good things on them. And, you know, again, just knowing what the size and the weight of the molecule is and the fact that it is crossing that, that dermal layer, I, I'm confident they're working. I mean, we use them. I use them occasionally. She uses them more than I do. Yeah. A lot of people use them, rely on them for sleep. Mm -hmm. You know, we we try to say don't rely on them, but use them for, you know, occasional sleeplessness. But again, it's better to rely on them than to not sleep. So <laughs> sleep is so important. So whatever helps you sleep. Yeah. Someone's saying they use, they use our lemon essential oil to remove the sticky from the sleep patches. Yeah, it is a medical grade adhesive. So um, it, it is pretty sticky, but again, it has to stay on for eight hours. Our skin gets oily. Sometimes we get sweaty, you know, especially, and then you're sleeping. So it, it's sticky. Uh, so if a person has taken an antibiotic, let me just throw this one up there, Lionel. Hey, but, hey, man, this is a good question. I get this a lot. And if a person has taken an antibiotic prescription, uh, when can you take the probiotic? So prevailing advice has sort of always been like two hours after. So you take the antibiotic, and then two hours later, you can administer the probiotic in an attempt to recolonize the gut. There's been some conflicting studies on it. I still err on the side of why would I not? Yes, I'm going to take my probiotic if I'm on antibiotic. I, honestly, antibiotics aren't a common thing in our house. Um, but of course, yeah, I, you know, when indicated, definitely use a probiotic along with them for sure. And there's a comment here just about, you know, they find other products priced less than live good. It's not all about the prices. It's about the quality. So if you can find the same quality or better quality at a lower price, send it to me because that's the biggest difference. It's not just about price. You, yeah. could, you could cut price. We could make these a dollar each by like significantly 
making these oh, a man. lot less quality, if, yeah. not doing any of the testing. Um, right. It would be giving you junk for a dollar, and some people would yeah. say, woo, it's a dollar, I'm buying it. I'll give you an example. It's quality. I can't believe, I, Ben and I went back and forth on this, but the price that we set on members for this gut support, probiotic gut support, it's actually pretty insane because the 10 strains of, of probiotics that we had cultured for this, almost the cost, it, it just, mm -hmm. we're get, guys, we're providing so much value. So much value. Uh, Ginny, thanks again for discount. Yes, yes, yes. Lemon, lime, plus hydration, amplifier, and a bunch of water. It's perfect. Yeah, I agree. Right. It really is good. And I'm not. A, I'm a room temperature water guy, but man, do I love it on ice. Um, is lean safe while nursing? I would not take lean. No, it's not. While nursing. No, it's not. Or pregnant. Mm -mm. No. Um, no, please don't do that. Uh, Joel, hey, Joel, I, I think I'm, you know, look, we're going to do this. We're going to do a focus zoom on this thing in a couple weeks after the Labor Day, the week after Labor Day. But this gut support product, prebiotic, probiotic, it has such a good balance with digestive enzymes, the glutamine for repairing tight junctions and the, and the permeable, like anybody that suffers from leaky gut, gut permeability issues, um, inflammatory, you know, there's so many things that come from the gut. Mood disorders, you know, 65% of our serotonin, so our, you know, is manufactured and stored in our gut lining. Uh, the, the communication, the network of communication amongst cells because of what the microbiome is, is doing. Uh, the, the research on that is incredibly impressive. Um, the, to me, this would be a top seller. I know why Factor 4 leads the pack, but I think, I think the gut support should be, should be right up there. Right. Well, more and more people are really understanding yeah. um, what about gut health and the, how it's necessary to focus on gut health. And again, how many Underlying root causes of issues, diseases, symptoms, whatever it may be, has to do with a disturbed microbiome. So it's uh, important. And you what can, do you think about again, so, you can change your microbiome that. pretty quickly. So, um, you know. With, uh, you can. Yeah, you can, you can change your microbiome. I mean, it could, it could even be after like a few weeks of, of taking the gut support. If you've got really got something going on, you can start to notice a benefit for sure. All right. We're at. Over 30 minutes. Holy cow. It goes so fast when we do the... Uh, Man, alive. When we do this, oh, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. There's still a <laughs> bunch of questions rolling in. Look, we appreciate your participation so much. Thank you, thank yes. you, thank you. Um, and, and again, uh, we're always there via email. I'm Lisa at livegood.com, Ryan at livegood.com. But shoot the emails over to me if I need Ryan's help with certain medication things. I always... Um, consult with him. I know where he lives. Um, uh, that's good. <laughs> I love your guys banter back and forth too, helping out each other. We, Sean and Pia, I mean, you guys, like, it's just great to see. And I love it. I love it so much. Right. It's a community of everybody community. wanting to help everybody it, get healthy. It, it is. And we're so open and receptive to your ideas and to your input as well. So pl please feel free to reach out if there's anything else that you want to add. And I'm going to go because I have to go help get my mom situated. So <laughs> yes. Oh, so again, thank you guys. Again, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do leave your comments. Um, love hearing them. Make sure you join us every Monday. Actually this month coming up one labor day, um, we will not be here. Ryan will be out of the country. So we're going to, um, take that one. I'll have the kids. Um, and if you haven't checked out our products, livegood.com. Check them out. There's a lot of information on there. We have a learn more section with every supplement. It just gives you more information. Um, but again, if you need answers on top of that, I'm always there. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks Thank for tuning you. in. All Bye. right. See y'all later. Bye.